Hello, this is Mentor Sabrina, and in this video we are going to start doing pixel art with Python by drawing a square of squares. Now, we already have one row of squares being drawn. Well, now we need to go to the next row, and we're going to go to the row above this. So to do this, the first thing we want to do is pick up our pen so we're not drawing any lines. So we can write t.up or t.pen up. And then we want to move back. So we're going to do t dot backward. And before we do this, go up to the top and create another variable. Let's call it num squares. This is how many squares are in each row. In our case, it's five. So now we go in here, we write t dot backward, and we need to go back how many pixels? Well, we have num squares, that's how many squares we have, 5, multiplied to how many pixels the side of one square is, which is stored in the variable side. Now when I hit run, I draw my 5 squares, and now I'm back here. But this isn't where I need to start, because look at the code for when we're drawing a square. We're starting in the top left corner, aren't we? So we need to turn left 90 degrees, so we're pointing up, so now we're pointing up, we need to move forward by the side of a square, and then we need to turn again so we're facing the same direction we were the last time we drew a square. Now we're just about ready to draw the next row, however, because we lifted the pen up, if we tried to draw again, we wouldn't see anything. So we need to put the pen back down so we can draw. Now, the next row that we're going to draw, we want to draw a black square first. So we already have the code right here to draw one square from lines 9 to 14, right? Well, instead of typing it again, let's just copy it. Then paste it. Here. Now, you notice that a lot of it pasted still with the same spacing it had before. Well, since it's not in the loop right now, we don't want it, in, want it tabbed in the loop. So, we have to go to the start of each row and backspace it four times. Now, when I run it, you'll see I have now drawn a row of black squares and then another black square. Now for the middle of the square, I need to change the color so that I have three squares of a different color. So let's change the color, oops, let's change the color to, I don't know, red. You can change it to whatever color you want, you do not have to use the same color I made. And then, if we're going to draw three squares that are exactly the same, instead of copying this three times, we already have code right here that's drawing five squares. Well, why don't we copy all of this code and paste it here. If we run this now, we draw five red squares, but we only need three. So let's change this five to a three. And then we just need one more black square. So we have to change our color back to black, and then copy this code and paste it underneath, the code for one square. And that gives us our next row. Now, what can you do to, we need two more rows that are exactly the same as this row. Instead of copying all of this and pasting it two more times, we can write even less code by starting by going up here, let's go here, let's copy this code and paste it underneath. Remember that this code right here is the code that brought us to the next row. So when I hit run, I draw my two rows and now I'm at the next row. Now let's go before we started this row, the second row. If we need to do that row three times, why don't we use another loop? So I'm going to use a different letter than I've used already, 
And since I need it to happen three times, I write the chain range three. And then I have to go to the beginning of each of these lines of code and hit tab once. Remember, because spacing is important in Python. And now when I hit run, I draw the three lines for the middle. And guess what? There's only one more thing left to do. I just have to draw the last row of black squares. Well, I already have this code right here that draws me a row of, of squares, and the color is already back to black. So I copy this code, hit enter a couple times, backspace, and paste. And now, when I hit run, I have my square of squares. This is basically how you do pixel art with Python. In the next video, I will start explaining how to change this to even less code using something called functions.